Hey, again, welcome back to our read alouds. It's Mr. Lone, and I'm looking forward to uh, reading another book with you. Um, let me give you a little backstory on why I picked this one out today. So I have three daughters. Twins are in fifth grade at Terrell. My little one is in third grade here with me at McGinn. And we are constantly, Mrs. Lone and I ask, can we get a dog? Can we get a dog? Can we get a dog? We're not ready for a dog. Uh, and I don't know if we'll ever be ready for a dog. But what we did recently was we got a 20 gallon fish tank. We now have eight glow fish, a couple snails, things going on. And uh, it's working out pretty well. So it's sort of we have like a little pet thing going on here. So when I saw that this title called Not Norman, A Goldfish Story, I felt like I have to share this one. So here we go with Not Norman, A Goldfish Story. And it's written by Kelly Bennett. Here we go. <clears throat> when I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet. Not Norman. I wanted a pet who could run and catch, or one who could climb trees and chase strings. A soft, furry pet to sleep on my bed at night. Not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and around and around and around. And around, and around, and around, and around. This is it, Norman, I decide. I'm trading you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin twitches. How can I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry-looking fish in a gunky bowl. When I drop Norman into his nice clean bowl, he starts dipping and flipping, flapping his wing, flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy, I have to laugh. Don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm going to keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blows a stream of bubbles. The next day, I take Norman to school with me. If I talk him up real good during show and tell, maybe someone will want him. On the way there, we see my friend Austin. Austin has a real cool dog and seven puppies. Want to swap one of your pets for Norman? I ask. Who's Norman? Asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. By the time I rescue Norman, half his water is gone. I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at me, all googly-eyed. Finally, it's my turn for show and tell. Just as I start to talk about goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone! Who let my snake loose? Does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No. They're all jumping and screaming and chasing the snake. Not Norman. He's looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. That afternoon, we go to my music lesson. As soon as it's over, I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuba and begin to play. Bum 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 ba 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 boo ba boo. I glance over at Norman. He's swaying back and forth. Glue glue glug glug glug. He mouths. Look, Norman's singing. I say. Pay attention. Snaps Maestro and try to play the proper notes. Maestro makes me stay for extra practice. By the time my lesson is over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. That night, I'm sound asleep when, screech, scritch, what's, what's that noise? Scratch, scritch, 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 yikes, there's something at the window. And then, out of the corner of my eye, I spot Norman. He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. I look at the cats and dogs and snakes and birds. I look at the hamsters and mice and the lizards, too. They all look like good pets, but they are not Norman. When I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I could pick any pet in the whole world, I wouldn't trade him. Not Norman. 
So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. I love that one, how, you know, sometimes we always think there's something better out there, but you know what? We have something great right with us already. So uh, have an awesome night, again, and we'll be back with more Read Aloud soon. We'll see you soon.